Hey guys, welcome to Business Hub channel. Before I discuss this video content, I would like to ask you to subscribe my channel so that you will receive my new videos coming out every week and also remember to like and share my videos to your friends and families. Alright guys, let's watch this video. In this video, I will guide you to obtain a loan to purchase an existing business. To become an entrepreneur, you don't have to start from scratch. Buying an established firm enables you to work for yourself without the hurdles and dangers associated with a startup. This advantage comes at a price, though, and if your personal funds are insufficient to pay the cost of the acquisition, you'll likely seek a company loan. You may be able to acquire a loan to purchase an existing company, depending on a variety of circumstances, but first you'll need to assess your needs and requirements, gather the necessary paperwork and documentation, and search for the best lender. What considerations do lenders make when you apply for a business loan? Lenders are interested in both you and the firm you want to purchase when you are acquiring an established company. It's reasonable you and your future company have had to completely separate histories up to this time. As with any loan, lenders are interested in your personal credit history. Do you have a history of debt management success? Do you responsibly manage credit? They'll want to know your income, your present company, and any relevant expertise that makes you a strong prospect for effectively operating this new firm. Prepare the following items. Individual credit rating. Tax returns. Proof of income or a financial flow statement. Existing debt. If you currently own a firm and are seeking to purchase another to expand operations or modify your business strategy, lenders will also consider the financial stability of your present business. Check with your lender for a complete list of the required financial documents, but be prepared to supply the following. Financial statement. Tax reports for the business. Business bank statements. Commercial credit rating. In addition, they will want to ensure that your company plan is strong and that the proposed business acquisition will generate sufficient revenue for you to repay the loan. That may involve demonstrating business licenses, business valuation, financial forecasts for the next three to five years, strategic plan. Things to do prior to requesting a business loan. Prior to submitting a loan application, it is necessary to gather some essential information. Many of the information you need will need the seller's participation. This may sound tiresome, but it's a chance to get cold, hard data about the firm you want to acquire. The Small Business Administration suggests consulting with an accountant and an attorney for assistance with the sales process. Together, they may assist you in achieving essential goals, such as determining a reasonable company worth, negotiating and completing an intent letter and a sales agreement, understanding the tax obligations and repercussions. For loan application preparation, consider the following. How much of the purchase price can I finance myself, and how much can I use for a down payment? The minimum down payment required by the majority of lenders is 10%. Do I have collateral I can utilize to obtain a loan? Purchase businesses, equipment, cars, real estate, inventory, and accounts receivable may be used as collateral for a business loan. Personal assets, such as automobiles, jewels, retirement savings, or your house, may also be pledged as collateral for a company loan. However, be wary of pledging an item you wouldn't want to lose if the business fails. Prior to beginning the application process, you may check your personal credit score for free and get a credit score and report for your prospective company, so you know what to anticipate. Where can you obtain a business loan? There are a multitude of sources for business financing. 
Your present bank or credit union is a natural starting point, but you may also browse around for small business loans. Fundera and other online lending platforms link small company applicants to different lending providers for a variety of business loans, including small business administration loans, business lines of credit, and term loans. Fundera's website indicates that borrowers with at least $150,000 in annual sales, at least one year in company, and credit ratings of 600 or above have been successful in obtaining loans. For a large number of small company owners, SBA loans provide a viable alternative to other financing sources. The Small Business Administration does not provide loans directly to small firms rather, it guarantees loans from lenders like as banks and credit unions, therefore reducing the risk associated with lending. As a consequence, SBA loans often offer advantageous interest rates, but there are strict eligibility requirements that applicants must follow. Learn more by reviewing the SBA's 7 Loan Application Checklist. Some alternative lenders provide finance for small businesses. Lending Club provides business loans to entrepreneurs that have at least $50,000 in annual sales, have been in business for at least 12 months, have no bankruptcies or tax liens, and own at least 20% of their company. Alternative Methods of Financing Purchasing a Business there are alternatives to obtaining a loan to finance a company acquisition. Consider the following alternative financing options if you are unable to locate a willing lender or your authorized loan amount does not meet the cost of the business. Negotiate seller financing. Other sellers may be receptive to getting paid over time, despite the fact that some are wanting to cash out and never look back. You may negotiate this form of financing directly into the sales contract and avoid the bank. Consider borrowing from relatives and friends. This choice is not to be taken lightly. The emotional cost of abandoning one's family is exorbitant. However, if you are confident in your capacity to repay and ready to draft a legally binding loan arrangement, this might be a feasible source of financing. Seek investors or potential business partners. You may split the investment as well as the ownership stake in your firm. Just be aware that doing so will change how your firm is run, who is in charge, and how earnings are dispersed. Use your personal money. In addition to your usual savings, you might explore utilizing investments and other financial sources to fund your new company. Just be mindful of the tax ramifications and the possibility of draining your emergency fund or retirement savings. Even the most lucrative business opportunity has some risk. You may also consider your personal credit reserves. However, financing huge quantities of money at high credit card interest rates isn't the best strategy to finance your company since it can quickly lead your credit use to skyrocket, which might have significant credit repercussions. If you want to acquire a firm with a little initial expenditure frequently referred to as a leverage buyout, you may choose to combine the following strategies. For instance, you may make a 10% down payment with personal cash, get an SBA loan for 50% of the purchase price, and ask the seller to finance the remaining 40%. A leverage buyout may assist you acquire a company that you lack the money or borrowing capacity to acquire outright. Nevertheless, a large level of debt might raise your danger, so approach with prudence. The perspective of a lender might provide clarity. Obtaining a loan to acquire an established firm may be time-consuming, but there may be a hidden advantage. It demands you to articulate the value of the company you want to purchase and your reasons for thinking you will be successful. You'll need to evaluate the company's historical financial successes and failures and devise a plan for future profitability and expansion. The process of applying for a loan might allow you to have a clearer understanding of your investment.
You could also get comments on the opportunities, dangers, and benefits. Clarity may be more precious than dollars on an investment of this magnitude. Well, guys, my video has come to an end, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching my video and remember to like, comment, share and subscribe our channel, so that our channel can grow and bring everyone new videos with new things to learn. Bye bye for now and see you in my next videos.